Here's an interesting book called Egyptians at the Alps, Swiss at the Pyramids, about the oldest living monastery in the world from 515 AD in Switzerland, where lies the grave of an Egyptian soldier and commander of the so-called Theban Legion of the Romans, called Saint Maurice of Agone. <laughs> like Octogon, who was born 250 AD in Perhet, White House, Egypt, and died 287 AD in Switzerland. And here you can see here, the book presents the stories of Egyptian Swiss and Swiss Egyptians and the communities they build in their second home. Here, presented by a Swiss local of that town, and her name is Isis, the pharaonic goddess, and she has the Swiss-German surname of Gabe, or Gabe, and quite Egyptian-looking too. Now, what's going on here? Egyptians in Switzerland in the 3rd century AD? Well, this is what I've been telling you in my video, the Swiss beast, home of the devil, and many others. Plus the pharaonic DNA found in the actual Swiss population. Here, with Pharaoh's Theban legion of the Romans and Saint Maurice, you can perfectly see that Rome was the extension of Pharaoh, pharaonically led and collaborated with the Swiss against the Europeans and against the white race. After the Battle of Teutoburg Forest, or the Varuschlacht in German, losing three Roman legions to the tribesmen on September the 9th in the year 9 AD. Pharaoh's Rome understood how dangerous the Germanic tribes were and that they needed another strategy. The tactics of infiltration, as Kennedy said, and this historic reality only shows the tip of the iceberg peeping out in the open with the most dangerous part hidden under the water. I tell you, millions of ancient Egyptians of all classes, including the pharaonic one, made it to Switzerland. Their not very neutral fortress in the mountains, slowly expanding into Europe for the great replacement. The Germanic warriors were the fiercest warriors in history and the only ones who ever successfully stood up against Pharaoh and their Rome and who finally ransacked Rome on August the 24th, 24th, 410 AD. This is why today, 2000 years later, they have decided to completely destroy Europe through massive immigration and after two world wars the 30-year war and the third one coming up. So how come these Egyptian Romans could be in the middle of the Germanic territories if not having some help somewhere by the locals? So here you can see a map of Europe like 1500 years ago and this is Switzerland. Here you see the Alamanni, the Alamans. That's why they speak not Celtic in Switzerland, but they speak Swiss German. German, eh? Alemannic German. It's an Alemannic dialect, like an Elsass here. And um, so, in fact, the uh, Swiss Alemannic tribes were the first Germanic tribes to collaborate with the Romans, joining the Roman legions, helping with that terrible genocide on the Celts in the Bello Gallico or Gallic Wars in France and killing all the Helvetics in the Alps. So my question is, how can a Roman mass killer out of Pharaoh's Egypt become a saint? Like this one here, Saint Maurice from Switzerland, out of Egypt. It's like mass murderers like Henry Kissinger getting his Nobel Peace Prize in 1973 by the Norwegian king and his pharaoh's aristocracy. The terrorist Nelson Mandela 
in 1993 and Yasser Arafat in 1994, or Cistercian Saint Bernard de Clairvaux of the Templars, also a bloody, and I say very bloody saint. So here you can see the, mon the ancient monastery where Saint Mass Murderer Maurice has been buried here in Switzerland where the Egyptian Romans went to in their conquest. Saint Maurice became a saint because he allegedly refused to kill Christians. So him and initially one tenth of his Theban legion got executed on the orders of Roman Emperor Maximinus Trax together where the word decimated comes from, one-tenth. Just another Swiss fairy tale, as William Tell, written by the German aristocrat and Freemason Friedrich von Schiller in 1804. What better than to say they were all executed before someone like me starts asking annoying questions like well, what happened to these thousands of Roman Egyptians in Switzerland? Ah, uh, they all disappeared by sudden death as if they'd never been there. At least no further consequences. Except that the pharaohs disappeared and so many Swiss have pharaonic DNA. Furthermore, facilitating the digestion of this story that this Roman killer, Saint Maurice, was a good killer because he refused to kill Christians. Oh, as Romans only mass murdered barbarians and their children anyway, as they called anyone not Roman or anyone not Swiss, barbarians. This is also why they held the Bilderberg conference in 2011 in Sankt Moritz. Moritz is the German name for Morris, Saint Morris, the Bilderbergers in 2011. And of course I went there, you can see me here in the middle together with two uh, German protesters at the Bilderberg conference in Sankt Moritz, Saint Morris in 2011. So here's a little map of um, like of a part of Switzerland here. Here is the lake with the Montreux. I don't even know what the name is. And here's this place, uh, Saint Maurice, where the uh, the Roman Theban Egyptian legion where they went to. And here is Zion. Uh, originally, not Zion is originally written by the Templars with an S. And this place here is Le Diable Ré. There's the word Diable, devil, in it. And this is where the Swiss had a concentration camp for American aviators. I made a film about it. I, I don't recall the name. I think it's on my channel, Gatsefrats. Yeah. And uh, this is where they murdered and tortured to death American aviators. So, uh, next to the place where the Roman pharaoh went to in Switzerland, lies Sion of the Knights Templars, Priory of Sion and their Protocols of the Elders of Zion or Sion. Uh, Sion written with an S in French, the original language of the Templars and the French speaking Swiss town of Sion, Sion. It has the only Swiss guard museum in the world it's all related to the Templars, you know, and to Switzerland. So here, you all see his Templars badge here. Look there, the Templars badge in the American army. So therefore, Morris is the patron saint of soldiers, armies and infantrymen as the American order of Saint Morris. For US generals like Lyre, Colin Powell, and butchers like John Abizade, this is Freemasonry for the highest officers. Yeah, look, yes, you can see some more of it. You got Colin Powell here, Abizade. Here it says the Order of St. Morris, the St. Morris Award. It's all like secret organizations within the US Army 
all these butchers sending people to their death yeah look you see the uh, Templars cross here in a, in green and the other one in white that's the cross of uh, Saint Morris and here it says a real casa a royal house it says with a crown and all that stuff there see so in Italy there is the order of Saint Morris founded in Jerusalem in 1119 during the Crusades it's all Templar stuff from Pharaoh for his worldwide aristocracy and sending Europeans and their slaves into their deaths having them fight each other these sects butchering and sacrificing innocent children and honor themselves as saints in neutral never done anything Switzerland always Switzerland and this one here it's the King Charles Albert of Sardinia and you see the cross here this is the the order of the Saints of the Saint Morris this one too here there's a Grand Master they're all aristocrats kings and pharaohs how can a so-called Christian as bloody Saint Morris Roman pharaonic killer general be referred to as a Christian anyway when even I and a non-Christian bloody well know that the sixth commandment says thou shalt not kill and killing was his trade of Saint Morris of Switzerland in an imperialist war slaying Celtic families for the pharaonic expansion being a saint for Pharaoh only now you see this film here what I did on my channel uh, Central Intelligence Agency is also related to uh, Morris Saint Morris and this thing here actually you know you can make a it's a part of a pentagram as well you know like it's going like this like this here and like this you know, and it's a pen a part of a pentagram and you see this symbol many times you know and this is related to the royal house of uh, orange and the prince morris i can't really understand it here but it's i uh, as far as it uh, you know it resembles uh, german i think it says it's like pointing to saint moritz it's a uh, pointing to moritz yeah so therefore he saint moritz is a saint for the worldwide aristocracy calling their sons after him like prince moritz here with this satanic stuff of his here of the or the islands of mauritius and saint moritz or the incredible amount of nobility around saint moritz and its various orders as the brotherhood of the blackheads blackheads here with the templars cross in the baltics where the templars called themselves the teutonic knights being dressed in black eh? and in the end it became prussia saint morris the hero of Pharaoh's infiltration of Europe like a Trojan horse mixing with Swissy to fight us as a virus and a bloody saint for the Pharaonic conquest and expansion butchering our children the main problem with all the religious hocus pocus is that their followers are so obsessed with the invisible realm that they can't see the visible anymore this is the magic spell around Pharaoh's religious wing our masters celebrate their killer Saint Morris on September the 22nd autumn equinox the day on which the harvest gets celebrated in this case the harvesting of the Europeans and their souls but hey they make nice pharaonic music as here of the Swiss American Fichter brothers and as I recognized their Swiss German surname I wrote them a mail asking them if they were German for discretion and they replied what I expected Swiss German the Swiss name Fierter is from the Swiss German word a in burn 
Swiss German, meaning the beast, a fiach. As in my film, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. And this video will explain to you how come US born Swiss Americans are automatically inspired by pharaonic ancestral tunes engraved in the genetic code next to what, go, what God knows else on charming Swiss Egyptian abilities.